Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube. I'm here today with... Tamar. <laughs> I keep pronouncing it wrong. I keep saying Tamar, Tamar. It's a beautiful name. Um, and we're going to do a hair today. Yeah. So we've had a quite the lengthy conversation. Um, and I know a lot of you ask if uh, maybe I can um, share these consultations with you. But I just think it's something that's a little bit too intimate. And I like to keep that sort of private for my clients and the things we discuss. And um, So we'll give you a little brief overview. So we discussed going lighter today. Um, the hair, I'm just going to spin you around a little bit. The hair has a little bit of thermal damage on the ends. So I was a little bit concerned about the damage that is here on the ends. And we also discussed keeping it as long as we can, going as light as we can. And guess what? The hair's naturally curly. So it's like a boom, boom, boom. It's like a triple whammy. Yeah. So we had, a, we had a pretty direct conversation about what I can and can't do. And I think it's important as hairdressers that you have those conversations before we start. So before we actually started filming, I actually said that if this was going to make either of us feel uncomfortable, then we just don't do it and walk away. I think sometimes we try and please our clients too much and we sometimes like we maybe take too many risks and then we end up having those uncomfortable conversations later. So I have like to have the uncomfortable conversation in the beginning, which is what we did. Yeah. So we discussed um, maybe having to compromise some of the length and take it off because that, that damaged hair really needs to come off, especially if I'm going to lighten it. Um, obviously, I'm going to use up um, the matrix of Bonder inside, so those sort of products are going to look after the condition. However, it is curly, it's got heat damage, and there is existing foils in there, and there's existing tint in there, which is lighter. So they've done like a high lift tint, or they've used like a tint on her natural hair, and they've got it to like, you know, um, what would you call like boost the bump the base a little bit to get it up to a little bit warmer and a little bit lighter so we had a discuss discussion about the warmth as well it's something that um, we want to try and counteract but isn't always possible so rather than people saying yeah yeah, yeah well, i can do that for you and then just toning it and in a week or two's time after a couple of shampoos the warmth comes through i was just honest i said look i just don't think i can because it's underlying pigment in your hair and it's unrealistic to be able to permanently um, do something to make sure that doesn't come back through. We can tone it, it's going to look great for three to four weeks and then that warmth will start coming back through. So, what are we going to do today? We're going to compromise some of the length and we've, I've been given permission to like sort of cut it middle of the chest so I'm confident that I can lighten it and this stuff is obviously damaged, has to come off anyway. Um, we're not going to go too hard. I want to put lots of foils in there, but I'm going to be doing lots of fine foils. So I want it to look lighter, but I don't want to go really heavy because otherwise it's going to be chunky and stripy. And also when the hair's curly, it's not going to look so great either. So um, for me, it's a bit of a challenge, which is fun. For you, it's a little bit of, oh, what's he going to do to yeah, you? Yeah, I'm predictable. But, um, but yeah, look, I think it'll look great. Uh, just like I want to proceed on this side of caution today because I don't want... Um, you know, you to feel uncomfortable at all. It's just not, not cool. Yeah. People have to feel comfortable. And if it means, you know, doing a, a, a trim, a blow dry and a treatment and people are happy and you, you build towards something, then um, that I think is better, which is what we're going to do. We're going to just build towards maybe adding lightness to the hair slowly, um, regular trims, keeping the condition up and then eventually we'll get to where we want to be, which is like, um, I guess like uh, we want to be as light as we can without going to the blonde side of being light. We still want to be a brunette. So we'll get on the way there today. Awesome. Um, I'm going to get you wrapped up. We're going to get started. Sounds good. You've got to give everyone a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do first is start with the haircut because um, I think it's important that we have our length. So for me, especially, it's important that I have the length that I want to do. Um, well, the length that I want to aim to keep so that I can then place the colour According to that, I'm just going to um, use a pair of clippers because it's going to keep it nice and strong on the ends. You guys have seen me do this heaps of times before. Um, and obviously, we're going to come back and, and um, redo it. This is just to remove the length that I know that I don't need. And then obviously, we'll come back and um, triple check it and make sure it's accurate. Just chin down a little bit, gorgeous. Thank you. So we're going to do some colour, 
light master with bonder inside and only 20 vol. Um, normally light master, um, it says that they recommend using it with 30 or 40 um, just to achieve the desired performance, but I'm actually gonna drop it down. Condition for me is so important and I'm actually, I'm actually a little bit concerned about the condition. So as I said in the consult, it's better to proceed on the side of caution, have that honest conversation uh, with your client. I said, I'm just gonna create more variation there, get a little bit lighter. Um, without pushing the boundaries and compromising the condition. So this product would definitely help with that. However, we still need to think about the hair on, on, a, on a much higher level. And we need to remember that although the new technology in these things that protect the hair from damage used like when you're using lightener is amazing, that doesn't substitute working on uh, understanding how hair actually is lightened and the impact that that can have on the condition of the hair. Um, so it's very important that we um, we monitor that. Um, so I'm gonna mix this up, we're gonna get out there and we'll get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with one section in the back and I'm using foil that I'm pretty sure I can um, do that. And we're gonna do some really uh, nice baby lights. So I'll get you guys in nice and close so you can see what I'm up to. So we're gonna do in the back because we don't have a lot of color, we're gonna do a combination of slices and baby lights. And then as we get to the front where there is more color, Okay, so we've um, lightened the hair. I'm really happy with the placement. Um, it's time to stretch the root, tone the ends, uh, and when you see us again, we'll be finishing the haircut and then we're gonna style it. So see you guys back here in just a sec. A second your time, about 25 minutes our time.
We're back. Uh, foil's done, toner's done. Uh, just a little recap on what I did with the toner. Uh, I stretched the root using half 5N, half 5VV uh, and 10 volt. And then I used uh, 10 grams of 5N, 10 grams of 5VV, 10 grams of 10P and 10 grams of 10N uh, with 10 volt. Uh, to take it onto the roots. And what I did was I applied it on, obviously, the root color first. Then when I applied the ends, I actually put the color straight on the roots and start to melt it through. So I like to do that so that you get that nice smooth transition. So the ends have been done, the length's done. So we're just gonna shape the front. Then we're gonna blow dry it. And then once it's blow dried, if I need to make any adjustments to the, the shape in the back, then I'll- One thing we need to keep in mind is that the hair's curly naturally. So this is important to keep in mind when clients are asking for versatility with the styling. So they may want to wear it straight, they may want to wear it curly because if you cut it, um, say to the lip when it's straight, obviously it's going to jump up to an eye when it's curly and it may be too short. Well, it's, it would be too short in this case. Um, so we're not going to do it that short, but something to keep in mind is the hair does jump. Um, so I'm working uh, horizontally um, with a stationary guideline. Everything comes to that point. Um, this is just uh, cutting hair on a, on a single, single plane. It's a very uh, effective geometric technique that um, can give you different um, shapes depending on the length that you choose. The only thing that I mention when using this technique is it has limitations in terms of um, how uh, long you want to keep the hair. So for example, if you want the hair to be uh, long, like, and we were to say cut it here, and then you cut that, well, obviously it's gonna cut it away. So um, if you were to apply this technique on longer hair, you need to then start to apply over direction, which would be turning your body around and doing it like this. Um, otherwise you end up having no hair left. And if you haven't already discussed that, it could be a little bit uncomfortable towards the end, right? <laughs> We've had a big change today. Yeah. And here we were thinking that it wasn't gonna be a big change at all. Mm. It's actually been epic. Keep your head nice and still for my darling, please. Thank you. And I'm really stoked with how we've been able to manage the condition of the hair throughout this pro progress uh, project because um, it was my primary concern. There was a bit of damage on there from um, like thermal styling. Um, and there was a, also some um, foils that were there from last time that I was worried about overlapping and creating some some damage there too, but um, we've done a by large uh, fibre strong mask at the basin. We left that on for about 10 minutes. You had a little bit of a relax over there, didn't you? Yeah. And then um, and as soon as I rinsed it, you could just feel um, how beautiful the hair was. So hopefully it's nice and smooth and shiny when we dry it. I'm sure it will be tiny little bit there, you can see. Just keep your head nice and straight towards me, babe, please, thanks. And just a little bit there too. I'm gonna get myself some bio, uh, Matrix Smooth Setter and we're gonna blow dry it.
Yeah. Let's spin you around so everyone can see. I'm actually going to pull the camera over here a little bit. I'm going to move you out. This is a weird outro because it's just not doing it justice because the, the, um, there you go. Now you can see it there. It's beautiful. Look, look at the, this color poking through there. Those beautiful highlights through the side here. Another side. If you guys go back to the beginning of this video and see where we started, I mean, I'm stoked. This is just beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you. You I'm still tuck it behind your ears, don't you? Straight away. It's a force of habit. That's really? Nice. I'm going to learn not to. Yeah. I, I just um, think it's nice now. I think if you can persist with not, now that I've, you notice I've cut it, actually fall off your face. Yeah. So you won't have to worry about, um, um, well, you shouldn't have to tuck it because before when it's in the middle, and then you tuck it, because otherwise the hair would hang over your eyes, so you tuck it back to keep mm -hmm. it out of the way. But yeah, exactly. when it's parted off center, yeah. it's much better. I'm sort of out of frame here. Let me just go and be like, where are you going, mate? <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like uh, what we thought would be, well, originally we weren't even going to do it. It actually has become quite a beautiful um, transformation. Yeah. Um, it's bronze. You're, you're a light brunette. You've got blonde in there. Um, the condition is phenomenal. How, how soft is it? I know, Beautiful. I can't the treatment. So good. I'm stoked. So good. I um, <laughs> think um, we're well on the way of getting lighter. I mean, it will fade a little bit over time, so you will progressively feel it starting to get a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. um, but um, when you go lighter, like given what we started with, you just have to do it slowly. And I think um, we've got a really good result today because you look different. I mean, the shape's better, the condition's better, the color's better. Win-win. Um, yeah. I'm happy if you're happy. Perfect. I'm so happy. We're good. Happy as I could be. Thank you. Um, if you guys want to know about the formulas I did, you can um, see me in the description of the video. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. If you know someone who might benefit from this video, please share it with them. It's important we share so others can learn. Um, it's, uh, this is going to be my third last video for 2020. Um, so thanks for those of you who supported me this year. It's been, um, been a lot of fun actually, given uh, what's happened this year. Um, I've taken, um, I guess you could call it sanctuary in my YouTube. Yeah. To escape the uh, COVID world that we're going through at the moment. Stay safe guys, until next time from Canberra Australia, bye.